This Anatoly Kavosha performing an extremely low pass inside a Sukhoi Su-30. This is Lieutenant Brandon Hempley flying for the Blue Angels, performing a low transition takeoff. This C 130 flew over Ramstein Air Force Base. Here's the KC-135R Stratotanker soaring to the skies before going on an endurance mission across the Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> the passenger had a perfect seat on board the A320 to capture this video. An F-16 fighter performs a super low pass and then does a KEGE. This passenger was wondering why his Boeing 737-800 flight was so loud and it was because he was sitting close to the engines. This is a wing view of the aircraft's engine during takeoff. There is nothing like the scream of a Lockheed C5 Galaxy during a low pass. What pilots see every day from the cockpit of their plane when they're flying above the clouds. Taking off in foggy weather inside a BA A380. Here is an aircraft with one of the longest takeoff distances at Canberra Airport. Well, if I didn't see it, I wouldn't have believed it. That's unbelievable. This is how they promoted the hypersonic rocket North American X-15 back in 1958. Like an arrow leaving the bow, it is in free flight after its propellant burns out. For a period of possibly four minutes along the upper curve of its arc, the pilot is in a condition of weightlessness. The car driver captured a plane right after takeoff on his dash cam. This pilot had to perform a go around because of the rainy weather. This passenger captured a gas leak on the wing of a 767 in the middle of the flight. This is the last flight of the two P3K2 planes from the New Zealand Air Force before they got replaced by the Boeing P8As.
northeast of Long Island, this person spotted exactly seven B-52 bombers in the sky. This plane spotter captured a FA-18 Super Hornet making a flyby at Warbirds Down Under. It looks like these planes are going to have a mid-air collision, but they're thousands of feet away from each other. This passenger captured the takeoff of the American Airlines 737, looking directly at the engine. Thanks to the extreme zoom on this person's phone, we have this awesome video. Here is a Boeing 757 operated by FedEx taking off at night from the Tri-State Airport. Take a look at this amazing livery on this A380 landing at Toronto Pearson International Airport, Canada. An A3A sentry caught flying low over this person's city. Here is a clip of what it is like landing in Abu Dhabi in sunny and foggy weather. Take a look at this incredibly smooth first solo landing of the pilot in the clip. Take a look at this E3A sentry doing a touch and go at Stavanger Airport, Norway. Here is a nighttime footage of an Anatov AN124 departing from Los Angeles International Airport, California. These Blue Angels flying in formation before breaking apart at Point Mugu Air Show. The C-130 in this clip performs a flyover at a Texas Aggie baseball game. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching us. Please press the subscribe button before the video comes to a complete stop. Bye for now.